One of the most useful things you can do if you're working on an animated series is have the possibility to add lots of characters easily, or rather have variations of one same character and have this easily done, right? Imagine that, you have one character with 10 variations. With that, you can create a crowd of 10 different characters. Well, with Crazy Talk Animator 3 and Photoshop, you can do just that. And in this tutorial, I will show you how. Hi, this is Marek Diaz for 2DAnimation101.com and in this video, I will show you how to take one character from Crazy Talk Animator and create multiple variations using different hairstyles, different clothing, and even create different colors for the skin. Okay, right now, this is Crazy Talk and I have this character. Now remember, if you don't have Crazy Talk Animator 3, the pipeline version, this would be the best time to get it because right now Reolution is letting you get it at a discount up to 57% off. Huge discount, that's a little bit more than half the price. So if you don't have it, get it at 2d101.com slash CTA32. Okay, so get it if you don't have it. Now, let's continue with the tutorial and edit this character in Photoshop. Remember the three simple steps. Pick the character, open in composer mode, and launch Photoshop. Then, in Photoshop, I can just navigate through the folders and find the hair. I can hide the hair and, in fast forward, create another hairstyle using multiple shapes. Once I'm satisfied, I just take all shapes, right click and rasterize them. Then press Ctrl E to merge them into one single layer. There. Then I do the same for the back hair. I select all the shapes, right click, rasterize, and then Ctrl E to merge. There. Now I have two hairstyles. And a quick trick I can do is change the color of the hair by pressing Ctrl U to bring the hue and lowered it to minus 16. And then I do the same for the back hair. There, that's completely a new hairstyle and color. Then I create another hairstyle with color brown and I end up with three hairstyles. Look at that, from one character I have three new styles. Then in the same manner I create two more variations for the skin and different clothing. Now, I only have one character, but I have three variations. I save it and I go to Crazy Talk Animator to get the instant updates. And now I can duplicate this character by holding control and clicking and dragging. And then with three characters, I just add the variations. How? Super simple. Just pick one, open the sprite editor or press letter S in your keyboard and in there, you can add the variations. Just pick any part of the body and change the sprite. Super simple. Once you have it set it up, you can very easily have three variations of the same character. You can add more and more variations and even create different combinations to create whole series of characters. Great. Now you know how to create whole series of characters using the new version of Crazy Talk Animator 3 Pipeline and Photoshop. Thanks for watching. Now if you want to learn more, you can get our new course, Cell Shading for Animation, for free, completely free, when you buy Crazy Talk Animator 3.2 Pipeline version. You can buy it here, 2d101.com slash CTA32. The link is provided in the description of this video. Go to it, get it, and start improving the look of your animations right now.